Welcome back. They promised the secret to turning back the clock, but beauty experts are warning common anti-wrinkle creams could be causing you harm. They're basically dissolving the top layer of your skin. Ladies, this is the biggest mistake you're making with your skincare regime. And it actually made me start to look older. These are two of the most powerful ingredients in the fight against fine lines and wrinkles. Alpha hydroxy acids, or AHAs, and retinols. What they'll do is they'll basically get rid of the dead skin cells that sit on top of your face, and obviously that gives you a more of a renewed, fresher complexion. They're basically a wonder anti-aging ingredient. But while beauty writer and author of Amazing Face, Zoe Foster, happily sings their praises, she warns that you can have too much of a good thing. Women overuse them because they start using them and they see these beautiful effects and they're like, maybe if I use more, I'll get even better looking skin. Definitely crow's feet. Um, thinning of the skin there, um, just dry, sagging here. Susie is a flight attendant. She's always been very conscious with her product choice because all the flying takes a toll on her skin. In her fight against anti-aging, she began using a smoothing cream containing AHAs. I started to get really dehydrated skin, really dry, flaky, and I've had to go and sort professional help to try and work out how to get it back that your skin becomes red raw, becomes highly irritated, becomes very sensitive, and this is the kind of stuff that can create lifelong problems in terms of rosacea or dermatitis. It's a common complaint amongst many women. While these wrinkle fighters do work, too much leads to long-term damage. Just say that you were using an AHA cleanser and then you were using a retinoid serum and then you were using a glycolic moisturiser on top, that's threefold. So you're basically giving yourself a chemical peel every time you do that. The problem is when good ingredients get, or good products get prescribed or overused inappropriately, the perception is that the product's bad and no good. Whereas sometimes it's just a sign that it's almost working too much. Dermatologist Dr Natasha Cook says if you do have sensitive skin, you should look for a lower potency AHA. Glycolic is probably more prone to give you skin sensitivity and irritancy because it's a smaller molecule and it penetrates more rapidly into the skin. Whereas the lactic acid molecule is slightly larger and penetrates a little bit more slowly. Are there some that are more powerful than others? Oh yeah, the, the level of um, strength between these is incredible. Zoe has the following recommendations. Only use your AHA and retinoid products at night. Start by only using them twice a week to give your skin time to get used to them. Look at the label. The list of ingredients will be from the strongest to the weakest. If glycolic's the second ingredient after water, you know it's going to be pretty strong. Ask your GP, get some research, and then get a proper skin assessment so that you really can get the most out of your active skincare at home and it can be prescribed appropriately and effectively to you. Just got to be so careful, haven't you?